How are you? Welcome to my DIY channel. Are you my bestie yet? If not, go ahead, hit the red button, become my bestie, and we're gonna have so much fun here. Always beautiful, high-end look on the budget, okay? <laughs> and in today's video, I'm gonna bring to you a cute egg decoration piece. Are you excited? I'm so excited. Let's get started, and don't forget, press thumbs up. <laughs> I got the egg diorama at Michael's on sale for $5. Another option would be using an egg container from the Dollar Tree. We are going to decorate it with your favorite napkin using Mod Podge. My napkin comes from Poland and it features the traditional Polish folk art of Wycinanki. Beautiful, colorful designs, symmetrical patterns featuring flowers, sometimes medallions or roosters. And I have to admit, it is time consuming to cut all of these details out of the white background, which gives me a new appreciation for the art of Vichinanki. Imagine back in the day, people used to cut every single detail out of different color of paper. No pencil was used, just scissors. So these techniques were passed down through generations. Oh yeah, and I gave up on the white over here in the center. It just was too much cutting for me. And hopefully I could get away with it since my egg is white. I just apply a thin layer of Mod Podge and Tweety Bird, as usual, causing trouble, making wind around the thin napkin. Shit, Tweety. <laughs> Oh yeah, I had to lock her up because the thin flowers were flying all over the kitchen more than once today. So I'm working in small sections and depending on uh, how ornate your designs are, this is very intricate. Uh, so I had to be delicate with it and uh, try to use my Mod Patch just lightly. And once your napkin gets wet, you probably shouldn't pull it like I did at one point and unfortunately broke the branch. <laughs> but I'm sure you're going to be more gentle than I. <laughs> I only do decoupaging because it brings me so much joy. I really don't have much patience or expertise here. I'm sure many of you are better at this than me. <laughs> I'm just trying to be as gentle as I can, <laughs> not to screw it up too much. And you know, what's the worst that could happen? You wipe it off and you cut out the second one, that's all. And once you glue your design down, you are going to wait for it to dry and then give it one more coat of Mod Podge. I noticed the egg has a line going down right here. I think it's a perfect spot to put a design and I think adding this leaf ribbon will be pretty. Let's see. Oh yeah, I love it. I'm going to add a dab of hot glue at the top, bottom and somewhere in between. <laughs> beautiful is that. Let's run another one on the other side. So far I just used a quarter of a napkin so now I'm cutting apart the second quarter these are symmetrical designs, so I just cut it in half. Unfortunately, it is a little too big to add in a whole piece, so I'm going to have to separate these. Still a bit too big, so I'm gonna have to cut apart some more.
Okay, we are going to repeat the same thing on the other side. We are going to add the flower at the top and we also have some more room at the bottom on both sides. Oh yeah, that, that is just beautiful. You know, just play with your designs as you wish. I'm cutting out some smaller details and adding here and there as well. I wonder if you love the Polish folk art designs as much as I do. Please come and let me know if you have this napkin design already, because I know I shared with many of you when I decoupaged the foam hearts two years ago. If you saved it, you can just recreate it right now. I still have some leftovers, so I'll share with you first come first serve bases. Just send me your self-addressed stamped envelope and I'll be happy to share. Continuing with our project, I think this heart lace will be a perfect finishing touch around the opening. Oh yes, and by the way, I am using the bunny rabbit to hold my egg in place. <laughs> And just so you know, you might have to sometimes uh, pleat up your lace a little bit because the shape is curvy, right? I am going to use the Dollar Tree trinket bags to raise up our egg. I'm not going to need a lid, just something to lift it up. You can also use a candle holder, whatever you have on hand. It looks very plain, so I decide to add the lace around it as well. Next, we are going to put some glue on the edge and rest the egg on top. Oh my goodness, this is looking so amazing. Please give me egg emojis if you agree. All right, so who is moving inside that egg? <laughs> this is prime real estate, no ordinary egg, somebody special. <laughs> Look at this hen, isn't she adorable? She is from Dollar Tree, but who's gonna know? Nobody's gonna know, she is just fabulous and looks like she could lay those hand-painted eggs from Poland, right? The eggs are made out of wood, similar to the eggs that you can find at Marshall's or a budget-friendly option at the Dollar Tree. I was shocked to see the Pisanki designs on Dollar Tree eggs. And of course, Etsy is always an option. They have the real thing, but it's a splurge. When I think of Polish countryside, I think of a little picket fence. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> and paint a little fence from the Dollar Tree with some brown paint. And while that dries, I will prepare some egg holders out of the egg carton. I think they will make it easier for me to nestle the eggs around the hen and also display them beautifully and from any angle I want versus just like dropping them in a grass, for example. I also want to add some lights to my egg because I want you guys to see everything. <laughs> and I love these shrink lights because they come on the wire so the lights are bendable. I can easily wrap them up around the fence. And um, I like that they have a natural look versus fake wire, right? And I'll just add a dab of hot glue at both ends uh, so the lights stay on the fence.
All right, let's put it in. That's going to be our background. And we are going to put the battery pack right up front with the switch in the front, just like so. And now we're going to put her in. Oh, it's like a throne. And now we are going to pick the four colors of eggs that will coordinate best with this design. We will have to remove her for a second so we could install these egg holders in place. And you want to add them at different angles so you're going to be able to see all the eggs, not everything on the same level. And here, come up closer, take a peek in there. And now the mother hen. Welcome, honey. How do you like your new place? And we need something easy to just cover up that switch. So pick a little something from that fairy garden collection. Easy to put in and out when necessary. And we are going to finish this off with a little bit of greenery. Just add a little bit here and there to soften up the edges. I think it is actually my cherry on top here. It's so easy, but necessary. Look how it transforms and brings it all to life. I don't know why my egg back there um, disappeared all of a sudden. I think it looks a little bit too tiny. And as I take it out, it is smaller than the other green egg that I have. So I switch it up and it's kind of cute. One chick is peeking out already, right? <laughs> Meant to be. This is it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and see you here next time. Take care. Bye-bye.